Oh, what a ta 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 Work it. I need a glass of water. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be me recreating my first makeup tutorial. And disclaimer, before we jump into this video, I just want to say... I started YouTube when I wasn't that great at makeup. I could have sworn I slayed, honey. I was pretty sure I was like a makeup slayer. And a lot of my videos I had put on private from my past because they're just so embarrassing. I've always loved my first YouTube video I ever posted up because I feel like I want that video to give inspo to other people. Like, girl, you can make it. But, you know, the other ones, I just feel like we didn't need to see them all. We could just... We could just throw those under the rug. So I kind of watched over the video a little bit and I was a little bit shooketh as to how bad it was. Mm -hmm. Now my makeup skills have gone just a little bit better and I'm going to do the same look, which the video was a neutral eye. Shocking, right? With a hot pink lip, which I don't know why I decided to do that look, but that's what we're gonna do. You guys are gonna take this journey with me. A lot of you guys have never seen this footage before because this video has been on private for a really long time and I went ahead and made it public. So if you guys wanted to watch the whole video, you definitely could, but just know I did do it get ready with me style, which I won't do this video that way. We'll, we'll chat a little bit, but. <gasps> so without further ado, we'll sing the subscribe song and then we'll jump right in today's video and we'll go down memory lane. Let's do it. Be sure and subscribe to my channel before you leave. Subscribe! Hey, now let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Okay, so I have the video on my phone. I'm gonna put it on the screen so you guys can watch it with me, but I'm gonna watch it on my phone. I know this video is unmonetized because I didn't know like this was literally my second or third video I'd ever uploaded to YouTube. This was back in 2013 and I had no idea that about like copyright music and all so I didn't know so there's unmonetized my video. First thing I went in <laughs> the look on my face and the shape of my eyebrows is enough to make me scream just so you guys know but I went in and also the camera quality was just pure trash, but I couldn't help that, okay? I was using like a camcorder for like moms would shoot soccer games with. I'm gonna prime, which I don't think I did then, and I'm just gonna use this, a little bit of this Bobbi Brown Prep, which I really like this product. I'm just gonna put that on with this contour sponge. And then I went in with a foundation, which seemed to be a bit orange for my skin, so not much has changed. I remember I used the Benefit Oxygen Wow Foundation, which was one of my first ever high-end foundations. I wish I still had that foundation, but I wasn't as full coverage back then. I was working full-time at a doctor's office, so I couldn't... I mean, I guess I could, but I didn't really wear that full coverage of makeup. But today I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion. This is one of my favorite foundations at the moment. And with a Y6, honey, I'm just going to beat it in my face. I had this speed turned up so fast on this video and I thought anyone was comprehending anything I was doing. It looks like I buffed that in with a Real Techniques brush. I was a little aggressive. She took it down to the neck. Good job, Laura. We'll go in the order of the video. It looks like next I did my eyebrows with a MAC pencil, which is not what I use anymore for my brows. What I definitely use is the Brow Definer and then precisely my brow pencil from Benefit. My brows were so thin back then. I remember I'd always go to the nail salon on my lunch break and get them to wax off all my eyebrow ha hairs. And I, I, why? Why did I think that was a good idea? Why was I like, yes, slay, take all the hairs off. But I always thought, I don't know, like if you just had bushy eyebrows, it was unkept. And now I'm like, please give me back my eyebrow hairs. Sorry, I don't have a lot of the same products for this video. I truly wish I did, because I think it would make the video even better. But I don't got them, and I'm pre-filming for Japan. Okay, here I go, the other brow. My brows literally like, and just, I just took it went whoop, whoop, and that's it. And I was good. She was just a real easy with it type of girl. So I went in with my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre, and it looks like I primed my eyelids. So I'm actually going to do the same thing. I'm still using it. How many years later? Five years later. Still using it. So she's just going to prime these eyelids. 
I did then after I primed my eyelid, I went in with the Too Faced Candle Glow. What was I doing? <laughs> Why did I do that? Now it looks like I went in with the Urban Decay Naked Palette and did a super messy but neutral look. So I guess I'm gonna start out with this look, mixing undressed and streaking together right here. I'm just gonna kind of blend them because I think that's like a similar color. I remember at this time in my life, I was living in a house we were renting with two other girls and this was probably the most confusing time in my life. Like as far as like, I didn't know what I was gonna do, but I know I didn't like where I was at. And this was a very like tough year for me, but like one of my most learning great years as it turned out. I think that whenever you go through really hard years, they can either be like a really big learning curve for your life or they could just be a bad year. It's kind of what you make of it and what you can get out of it. Every hard experience can be a great learning experience. That's what I have found with my years on this planet. And you know, it's not like my life is perfect now and everything's sunshine and rainbows and we don't have bad years anymore, bad months or bad days. I definitely do, but I try to learn from it, try to learn from my past and just try to remember it is a learning experience, the past all together. But I am glad I made the decisions that I made and took the chances that I took. If you guys didn't know, I did do a video reacting to my first YouTube video and I got very emotional in that video because I hadn't actually watched the video in a really long time. So it was just like shocking to me to see how far I had come and I did it on camera, which I think was a great experience for me and for my audience because we both saw how far I had come without even really realizing it. And I was just so proud of myself. I still am. Now I'll tap into a little bit of Reveal, which is a cooler, deeper brown, which is probably closer to one of the shades in those palettes or something like that. I think a lot of the shades in those palettes are cool tone. What would be interesting is if I was able to look back in a few years from now and laugh at my makeup skills. No, I'm kidding. But laugh at, well, hell, I might. Enjoy the bliss of where I'm at and to see how far I will have come in another five years. Five years is a long time, especially in the YouTube world. Five years is like 10 years or... I don't know, I feel like YouTube years are like in dog years, like you just add times seven. I did put the light color on first, which is very strange, and then I went in with the deeper colors and blended out the crease. I've literally flipped that now and I wouldn't do my makeup like that anymore. You'll get a much more cleaner look if you do it how I do it now, trust me. Also, I remember I was living with two girls and I had started this YouTube journey. I was just diving into it. I'm actually taking butt naked now. And I remember like I would film while they weren't home, but I would, anytime I would hear a noise, I'd be like, because <gasps> if they were home or they walked in and caught me, I would have died. I would have been so mortified. I thought I was so weird what I was doing, but I was doing it anyways, but, and putting it on the internet as if they weren't gonna see it. I'm gonna take just a touch of cray cray and just pop it right on in, honey. Just right on in, that ball. I remember this get ready with me was way more of a comfortable way for me to film because I wasn't that comfortable talking to you guys and now that's what I love to do. I'm gonna take a little bit more of that paint pot and just go ahead and clean up my eyelid so I can put down the neutral color. Now I'm gonna go in with Okie Dokie because I did put a matte shade on my eyelid. So this is a great, just little matte shade. I'm gonna use a Morphe M224 and just pack that on my eye. Softening up that outer corner a little bit. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of Stark, which is our light shimmery shade on my brow bone. You guys think I'm really rough in my makeup now looking at this? I'm like, girl, I was rough at it then. Oh my God, and then I put MAC Expensive Pink on top. Wow, I didn't realize I did that. <gasps> wow. Okay, so for a pink color, I'm just gonna add a little bit of topless, kind of like I didn't realize I had put expensive pink on top. Wow, I'm shook at myself right now. She getting crazy. Topless is like a pretty light pink color. I 
the exact concealer and I have it in the exact shade. So you guys believe me that this has just always been like my ride or die, honey. NYX makes a good concealer and I'm glad that I'm finally doing the rest of my face makeup. I did my makeup in such random order back then. Okay, girl. Okay. And it looks like I just blended it out with my finger, which today we have stepped it up a little bit. We have sponges now. We have brushes now. Oh, there she goes. She got the sponge. She got the sponge. We're good. I feel like I'm moving so fast because obviously I sped it up times a million, which is almost impossible for you guys to see. Plus the lighting is horrible. Yeah, I'm having a hard time following. I'm like, oh, trying to hurry. The thing that's gonna drive me crazy is the fact that I didn't put on setting powder next. I just went into doing my liner while this just got all creasy and crazy. Also, I don't have any lip fillers in this video, so I am gonna add a little bit of setting powder because that's just what it would be now. That's just the tea. Great news is I actually have my MAC Blunt right here and I'm not sure if this is the exact same one from back then, but it might be. This is actually a great product to contour with. Blunt. Wow, I feel like I need to use this more. I really love this. This cola is so creamy. It appears that I did take a little bit of some black Neutrogena eyeliner and just lined across the top and then did my lashes. So that's what I'm gonna do. I did put on some mascara, so I'm gonna add some of this Milk Makeup Kush mascara. Which I do like this mascara a lot. It's super bomb. It looks like I added some black eyeshadow, so I'm gonna take Okie Dokie and run it along the lower lash line. That was mighty bold of me. Not really sure why I did this. I'm gonna take some of Cray Cray. I'm just gonna smoke that out a little bit. For blush, I use a pretty blush from NYX. I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of Bare. Oh, I remember this Sephora highlighter. I got it on clearance and I lived it. So I'm gonna go in, I do not have that anymore. I'm gonna go in with this highlighter from Ciate called Starburst. Ooh, that's pretty. And then I just randomly put face powder all over my face. I don't know, but I'm gonna skip that step. <laughs> oh, and then I put translucent powder all over my face as well. So, <laughs> what? Oh, and this is the mascara part. So I'm gonna add a little more mascara, girl. She used the XXL mascara from Maybelline. Oh my God, I feel like I'm talking so fast because the video is going so fast. <gasps> On these real natural lashes, I love these. You see, the lashes are so long. For my lipstick, I got a little bit crazy, which by the way, this video was four minutes long. Oh Jesus, I couldn't do a four minute video if I tried to now, but I put on this super hot pink color and then I put on like neon white pink on top of it. Don't know why I thought that was flattering, but I could have sworn it was. <laughs> I'm gonna put on the Kylie Jenner. This is Say No More. Super hot pink, about as hot pink as I can get it. That is it for this video. Um, wow, it's fun reminiscing and looking at my content, you guys can clearly see how much I've grown. The lighting was almost just dark. It was just dark AF. I don't know why I was filming that dark, but you can barely see anything behind the window. I should have been facing the window. I didn't know nothing, okay? I was learning. I learned a lot. I wouldn't particularly do this look now. Like I'd probably do a different eye with the lip or something. I, God, I wouldn't have done this look. But it turned out all right because I redid it. I had a couple of the products, which I had all of them that I had done, used back then. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and being here. And thanks for all of you who have been subscribers with me since 2013, five years ago. Woo, five years on YouTube. Woo. Really? Yeah. My husband didn't know I had been on YouTube for five years. But thank you all so much for being here and watching. I love you guys to death. Be sure and subscribe for more content like this, more of this crazy lady on your computer TV and cell phone. And I love you guys and I'll see you all in my next video.
By the way, I got some new rings since some of you guys have been where I got it from. I got this bracelet and these rings from Ancestoron. She's amazing. They have so many cool pieces. I'll have those linked down below in the description box if you guys want to know where I got these. But I love them so much. I love Dainty Dude Joy so much. We are we are on a rabbit trail now. Okay. Okay. Isn't that what Cardi says? Yeah. Oh, you're your girl. You're your little girl. Look how much she she's grown. She's a big girl now. Oh, oh, oh. She said, oh, makeup, I want to tear it all up. She is just an angel, honestly. A terrorizing angel. Look how cute. She's, she's just looking at herself in the view. I know. Ow, you're clawing me, ma. 